So I just wanted to share a MK98 that I got a while back. This is from a local store. Well, typically I show a lot of RTI and various online retailers, but just kind of a reminder that sometimes popping in local stores can definitely yield good results. So this is a K98K German manufacturer that was captured by the Russians after the war, and they basically did a complete refinish on it, swapped out some of the parts, re-blued it, refinished the stock, basically the whole works. Pretty happy with how it looks. Um, these usually run anywhere between five to seven hundred dollars. This one, particular one, was six hundred. And while these don't have as much historical preservation on them, since they're refurbished after the war, they do kind of have their own history with the Russian program for refinishing and refurbishing these rifles, as well as making very good shooters because they were pretty much refurbished and covered in cosmoline and tucked away for decades. So they're going to usually be in very good condition for shooting. So go ahead and take a look. All right, so go ahead and take a closer look at it. Starting with the butt, you can see the butt plate was blued, which um, originally they were in the white. You can see they also blued the takedown disc here. I did add a sling to it, it's just a repro sling. A lot of times you see electro stencil markings on these, but I don't see any on this one. Let's see the trigger guard there and floor plate. Did have a capture screw back here, but it's missing one up here. Looking at the receiver, I went ahead and put some chalk in the markings here. You can see it's got inspection marks from looks like the Weimar era instead of the uh, Baffinoms. And it's a S42, 1937. So you got the Model 98 there on the receiver. I believe it was in 1938 they started removing the S prefix on all the manufacturer codes. Probably just to simplify production. You can see there are Waffenamps here on the rear sight base. So this probably was produced during that transition period when they're moving between the different inspection marks. See the stock's in really nice shape. And they essentially just re the whole rifle. No sight hood on this. And the import mark here is on the side of the barrel. Now this isn't the correct stock for this early war type of rifle. It would have a flat butt plate, not a cut butt plate. But the Russians pretty much hobbled these together with whatever parts they had. It does have the correct barrel bands though, which is good. And they didn't always peen out all the markings. You can see here you got bopping out there. I don't know, sometimes they replace the front sight base here and they put one on that has like a sight hood on a earlier rifle. They swap barrels out, so you pretty much see a mix match. One thing to definitely look for in these captures especially is just to make sure that that recoil lug um, hasn't been pushed to the rear a little bit. Usually that means that it's starting to slide back inside the stock, which is not good. It can um, not only damage the stock there, but it also can crack the stock here behind the tang, which is kind of a weak point because it is a laminated stock. So go ahead and turn over. Look at the other side. You can see they did mark the stock with a matching serial number. Moving down the rifle, you got another Waffen out there. Got another Weimar inspection mark there. And I'll roll the stocks pretty good on this side too. The bolt's pretty smooth. Push forward. Safety works. There's definitely something to check when you get a Canon 8 Sometimes the, the safety's been replaced or if the cocking piece has been replaced, it can safety might not work. I'll see the Russians. I didn't put chalk in here or anything. The Russians like colored in this part of the rear sight. They didn't color in this part and then they did an electro stencil serial number there. It's going to take a look at the bore. So as you can see, the bore is pretty excellent on this. Probably got a new barrel, 
So you can see the bore is pretty much excellent on this. I did take it apart and found that the barrel was the original barrel. So this probably just wasn't shot very much before it was captured by the Russians. So a lot of these did get new barrels. So a lot of these do have really nice bores. I have taken this to the range and it shoots very well. I was hitting steel at 300 meters pretty easily with this. So it definitely has a um, you know, good bore and really good calibrated sights. These have gotten pretty tough to fan. These have gotten pretty tough to find, especially with all the import restrictions now. But you can still find them occasionally, either online or local stores, kind of floating around. You basically, just have to keep an eye out for these. Other options include the Yugo captures. They're still floating around, as well as some of the the Czech captures and early post-war Czech manufactured K98s. So, if you found this video informative, have any questions about this rifle? Feel free to drop it in the comments. I have some other projects coming up, other videos I'll be putting out. So if you're interested in seeing those, feel free to subscribe and sign up for alerts. And as always, thank you for watching.